Hey fellow crafters, this is Mal with another bead crate unboxing. This is August's bead crate. Let's see what we got in the box. I already opened it and it ripped the package, the tape, so I can take my label off the top. But as you can, I don't know if y'all can see. Let's see if I can pan up. Has a little tiny ice cream right there. It's a stamp for this month. And let's see. This month, this theme is tiny rainbows. Okay. So let's have a look. Let's see. Let's have a look at the pamphlet you get. It says Enthusiast Crate. It's the crate I get. Tiny rainbows. A list of what comes in the box and the factors notice says this month's box is seed bead heavy smaller beads go with our tiny rainbow steam a and f are in rainbow order red orange yellow green blue and purple plus there are some rainbow colored beads and some blacks in here so we're gonna have a look and see what's in the box First of all, this month's bag is red. I think last month's bag was red. It comes off. It looks orange on my camera. I don't know why. But it's not orange. It's red. And this is, okay. Just the stuff in the bag. Get out of the way. Let's see what's in the bag. And here is our rainbow of stuff. Where did we get this? Okay. I'm going to scooch this all to the side and look at everything one at a time. Okay, first we have selection A and these two again. They look orange. They're red. I don't know why my camera is not picking it up, but they're red. These are red bugles. And these are the smallest. These are Toho number one bugle. Three millimeter bugles and transparent cyan ruby. Japanese glass, 16 grams. So, yeah, these are cyan, which is not coming up on the monitor. It's coming up as orange. Washed out, but they're a pretty red color, cyan color. And they're the smallest. I've never had number one bugle beads before. They're very tiny. So that'll be interesting. Something new to try. I'm very excited about this month's bead crate because it's seed bead heavy. And I love seed beads. I love bead weaving and doing kumihimo. And those take seed beads. So, yeah. Here we got selection B. This is some. Uh, it looks like Toho 8 O's Japanese light high sense high sense never say that Japanese glass these are 16 grams so these selection B is 8 and you can see these are transparent orange they're a pretty orange color and they're coming off even lighter on the camera than they actually are I wonder if you can see so you can see these Siams look more red next to the orange but yeah okay there's our red and orange next is our yellow selection c r i can tell these are drunk cool. these are six millimeter fire polish John cool tech glass and it's 25. so some more fire polish and it's John cool which usually a six millimeter strand is 25. So that's what we got. Next is selection D. The star green. And these are Toho 6 O's. Transparent citrus spritz. Japanese glass. And there this is another 16 gram bag. There's a lot of 16 gram bags. There's a lot of seed beads in this one. So, but yeah. Selection D. 
And again, they're coming off lighter than they actually are. They're darker, a little bit darker, but still transparent than they're coming off on the camera. And that's our green. Let's see. Next is Selection E. I can't find Give me a minute. Oh, there's so many seeds in here. I'm so happy. I cannot find Selection E. Where are you? Okay, so here it is. This is Selection E. Some more, it looks like some more of those three millimeter trucks, but they've been pretty common and be great. And here we go. Selection E is four millimeter gemstone mixed trucks, check glass, 100 beads. And these are coming off as colored on the camera, which is good. This is what they look like. There's some black ones in here, and they have an AB finish on one side. And the rest are transparent, different colored gemstones. So that was a rainbow selection. Next is F. F is some more Eidos. These are purple. This are purple from the box. Toho Eido Transparent Light Amethyst. Japanese glass, 16 grams. So these are light amethyst Eidos. Japanese glass. And they're light purple. And they go very nicely. Actually, I think it's the exact same color that is in here. Right there. So that's very pretty. And then, okay, selection G is tiny, tiny fire polish. These are a three millimeter fire polish rainbow mix check glass. It's a hundred beads. These are teeny tiny. I've never seen a rainbow selection like this out of fire polish. I don't see different colored fire polish. One bead with multiple colors, but never a strand of different colors. Never bought any that like, like that, so this is pretty cool. I like these. Some more fire polish. Okay. Next is H. H is really interesting. I decided to go with something new this time in the box and I like it. It's one of the reasons I decided to get this box was I want to try new things. I always buy jewel tones and silver. I never buy any other colors, but these are just an odd size. These are Toho 30 Opaque Jet Japanese Glass, 16 grams. I've actually never even seen Rios, ever. Not even for sale in most of the places I buy beads. I've never seen anything smaller than a 40. I mean, bigger than a 40. So, yeah, and I have six O's and five O's, but never worked with this size before. So it's going to be interesting. And black will be good with our rainbow colors. So, this is Selection H. Selection I is interesting too. It's something else I've never tried before. It is some salamide thread, size A. Sorry about the traffic noise. Maybe a little bubble highway. Um, yeah, this is Salamide Thread, size A, pale gray, and this is a 40 yard. I think, I think it's, made, yeah, it looks like it's made by Beadsmith. This light gray. I've never used Salamide. It almost feels like sick cord, but it's wax nylon, but it's very soft. And it looks twisted. And I'll test it out and see how dirty it is. Maybe we'll do something, some bead redoing with it, or do some loom work with this thread. But I've never used this kind of thread before. So that was good. Something new to try out. Selection J. Um, let's see if I can smoosh out. I can see it. These are. Um, Toho 110 Transparent Rainbow Crystal Japanese Glass. 
And these just look like clear crystal, but they have a rainbow finish on them that isn't showing up in the camera. But basically it looks like they have an AB finish on clear crystal toe hose. And it has some clears, but I don't have any with an AB finish, so these will be good to work with. This is Selection J. Yeah. Okay, and Selection K are these, and yeah, they're pip beads. These are Selection K is 5x7 millimeter green pip check glass beads. There's 20 beads in here. And actually, green pip beads are good for making leaves and behind a flower when you make flower with pip beads or with other beads because of their shape they look like um leaves because they're teardrop shaped and the holes on the tip so these would be good for making flowers and last thing in the box is selection l and once again this makes me very happy i love to have seed beads in the box, I like to get 11 O's and 8 O's, and these are Precosa, and I really like Precocia seed beads. They come in the sealed Precocia bag, so I know that they're real Precocia, and that's a good thing about their 11 O's. There's an eight, there's 18 grams, so there's more in here. This selection card says there's 16, but I know there's 18 in here because it's a, that's how they come per Precocia. It even says it on the bag. From Precocia that is an 18 gram. These are Sapphire and this 11-0 Sapphire Six Dream Hank from Precocia. Check class. <coughs> um, yeah and they're 18 grams. And this says that the approximate retail is about 33.83. And I really think that that's a pretty good estimate. I'd say this is about worth about that this time but it's really CB heavy and I'm looking forward to using a lot of these seed beads to make um, something maybe some beady weaving stuff, stuff which I really haven't done a lot of yet um, because it's so seed bead heavy it would be much easier this time to plan out something be reading or something on the loom even I have an endless loom so maybe I'll do some loom work anyway I'll be back in a little bit with some projects to add on and see what I made with stuff in the box already hey guys we're gonna go over some of the stuff I made with the beads in the box this month be crazy was the rainbow themed and I decided to make Katie this um, double wrap bracelet it has a button closure it's leather this is silver colored leather and uh, these are the rainbow beads from the box except for the green the only dark the only green beads like this in the box were um, pip beads which wouldn't worked in this bracelet but basically even yeah even the uh, Stringing material um, was the salamide that came inside the box, and all the beads but the green ones came from the box. I just made a triple wrap with this leather, and then I added this uh, cute little ice cream charm and this uh, laugh with a smiley face for Kate, and put these charms on this bracelet for her. And like I said, it's it's meant to go around twice. I don't know if it fits twice on my wrist, but it fits Katie. But there you go, it's like a triple wrap bracelet in the rainbow colors. Kind of wanted to do some more bead weaving like that last one and did this uh, peyote strip bracelet. This is basically just a flat strip of peyote. I just changed the size of the beads. I used the beads in the box. This are the Precocia 11s. The Toho 11s, then some 8s, some 6s, and these are the round drucks in the, the mix. Even the ends were made with beads. These are some 8s and the 11s, and this 
priority tube toggle at the other end was made with 11s. And like I said, this is just this style of bumpy was made with the same amount of beads in each row. You just change the size of the beads that you're making with. So I also use the seed beads in the box. Just not wanting to focus to make this ring. And basically this ring, you can see it. It's not showing up very well in the camera. It's not focusing. But anyway, it is meant to look like a spiral galaxy and I used the A, B and dark blue beads from their 11 nose. The small drucks are used for the body in here and this is an 8 millimeter from the last box right here. This is 8 millimeter from the last box. Anyway, and um, yeah, just those same basic 11 nose you use to make the band on this ring. Okay, one other thing I made, and obviously I used my own component for this, but it has dangles of the beads from the box. These are the 8 O's and some more of those round rucks. These are the lavender color and that mix of the other color, which you can see a little better on the map. So we have that little pair of earrings which kind of looks like a crown that they hang off of and then one of the last things I did I made this pendant from the fire polish these are like um, jonquil these are the jonquil fire polish with the beads in the box and I used them to make the star and um, I think it came out really cute I just put a wire toggle on the top and you know so we can put it through the room and these are were those very odd size I have never seen a 3-0 bead but they're much bigger and what I liked about them is I wanted to put this pendant on this cord for this necklace and they have really big holes even way bigger than a 6-0 so they fit over this very thick this is a 2.5 millimeter cord. I think this this one isn't leather. Maybe it's cotton cord, but yeah. And I just wanted to be able to put this yellow star on there and I wanted some beads on instead of just the plain. But yeah, those are the projects from the box. Um, I hope you all enjoy seeing what we got in the box this time and what we were able to make and uh, I hope that next time we can have a lot of stuff from the beads that we get in the box. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.